come knocking at my door at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on my day off. I was asleep, too. Man, now I gotta get up and do a video about this thing. What's going on, YouTube? It's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. It's getting close to the end of May of 2015, so it's time for another blog video. So, nothing really much has changed with the layout per se. I haven't got any new pieces of equipment in. However, just today I did get something in that is very special for a few reasons. It is a Lionel CW80 transformer. Now, I had one of these before, but as you may recall, it burned out on me. Well, a few days after posting my new blog video, my more recent one, I joined a very neat group called the OGR Forum. It's a forum that's online by the O-Gage Railroading Magazine, and if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's really, really cool. Lots of neat things on there, lots of really good people. And in my introductory to that thing, I posted my link to my blog video, and a gentleman by the name of David watched that video and gave me this Lionel CW80 for the price of shipping. So. Thanks so much, David, for sending me this. I really do appreciate it. I've just got it out. I haven't tested it yet. We're gonna test it out right now, see how it works. All right, I got the CW80 hooked up to track power and plugged up to the wall. We've got the little green light. That's a good sign. So we're gonna test this baby out and see how it works. Now, for demonstration purposes, I've got my Union Pacific SD70M on the layout. So we're gonna start it up and see what happens. Here we go. So there you go, I've got some power for the layout now, so now we can run some trains. Awesome! So once again, thanks so much to David on the OGR forum. He's known on there as Up With UP, so go check him out, he's a cool guy. And once again, thanks so much for this, this really means a ton. Now, eventually I will upgrade to a more powerful transformer, but for the time being, this is perfect for what I need. And saves me a little time, gives me a little time to save up for the Z4000 without having to uh, go without running the trains. So other than the new transformer arriving, the only thing that's really changed on the layout is I have added a few more pieces of track to the uh, storage yard in terms of the first track, and I'm getting a few more pieces in in a few days, which should complete the first section of track in the, in the storage yard. Then I can start working on the second piece of track back here, and that one will go immediately behind the first track, and that way I'll be able to store freight cars, locomotives, and passenger cars whenever I'm not using them. And it'll also not take up so much space on the shelves, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty tight for shelf space as it is right now. So, <laughs> but to close this video out, guys, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm gonna run some of the trains on the layout for you for the first time. Other than my video of the 7206 operating that I put on there a few months ago, this is going to be the first time that the trains have been seen operating on layout. So, let's get to it. 